Yes, well, that makes for the ugliest looking balloon animal I've ever set my eyes on. If I'd been given a terrifying balloon animal made from an old rubber glove when I was a kid, I would have considered myself lucky. I'm, uh, yes, I'm going to run away now. Ugh, what is this? Where did this foul-looking thing come from? Yeah, my little honey bun, here's a nice new lollipop. Another of my attempts to educate the public bites the dust. This napkin is mine. All mine. A napkin printed with the name of a cafe. Erica. A bit of tidiness never hurt anyone. Apart from that one time I tried to clean the office and broke my collarbone. Long story. What's that? There's something shiny under that grate. I love shiny things. It's only about eight inches down, but I can't fit my hand through. Might just be long enough. Hopefully it'll stick. Ah, a Reichsmark coin. Can't help but think I could have spent all this time busking and made more money. But hey, it's something for nothing. Sort of. The only interesting things about this door are its large, round handles. And even they're struggling to get my heart racing. So, now the worn doorknob is completely red again. I'm a stickler for the little details. If I press the poster against the doorknob, it produces... an interesting new symbol on my poster. I've stamped the poster with a red band symbol. I don't even ask myself why I do things like this anymore. In any case, the sign's now sticky. Okay, let's see if this works. Hello, Count! Oh, you again. Count! Terrible, terrible news! I just discovered there's a photography ban throughout Parisa Platz. What are you saying? Where is that written? Follow me, I'll show you. You see? Up there. Unbelievable! Outrageous! I am furious! Young man, you must look after my camera while I resolve this issue. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Count. The ends justify the means. I hope. Always time for a quick natter. Berlin Telephone Exchange, how may I direct your call? Uh, I could just walk across the street and talk to them. I'm terribly sorry. I've completely forgotten. I see. You should probably hang up then. If you're calling from a public phone, you should receive your money back. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I could really use that press pass in his jacket. It'd get me into the stadium to see Glenn. I guess I should ask him first. 
Excuse me, Mr. Edison. May I bother you for a moment? You would only be bothering me if I were actually enjoying this newspaper, which, to be perfectly frank, I am not. How can I help you? I noticed the press pass in your jacket, and I was wondering if you might be willing to lend it to me. Just for tonight, so I can get into the stadium to watch the events. I'm afraid I can't. I have to go and watch an event myself. And besides, my press pass lets me use the public transport for free. But you see, it's very important that I get into the stadium tonight. Look, my friend, we're just talking about sports here. You shouldn't take it so seriously. Tomorrow is another day, after all. You can get a press pass in the morning and start reporting right away. Okay, I understand. My apologies. No harm done. Always time for a quick natter. Berlin Telephone Exchange. How may I direct your call? If I can lure Edison into the cafe, maybe I can borrow his press pass. All right, I'll try my luck. Connect me to Cafe Erica at Parisa Platz, please. One moment, please. Uh, this is Cafe Erica. How may I help you? Do you? Uh, 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 do you have a customer there by the name of Edison, Baltus Edison? Yes, Mr. Edison is just outside. Uh, whom shall I say is calling? This is his editor in chief in London speaking. Please tell him that it's urgent. He needs to come back right away. It's about juicy goings on at Buckingham Palace. I will relay your message, sir. One moment, please. Mr. Edison, there's another call for you. Who is it now? Your editor in chief in London. He has an urgent assignment for you concerning the British royal family. Finally, my prayers have been answered. Where is the telephone? Follow me, please. Perfect. This may not be a gentlemanly thing to do, but then. When has that ever bothered me? Edison might lose a job he hates. He might have to pay for the bus, but at least he won't have to live in a world ruled by super-powered Nazis. I'd say it's more than a fair trade. I'm very sorry, sir. We do have occasional connection problems. Not a problem. I'll go to the hotel and try to contact him from there. See you. Goodbye, sir. So, I got a press pass, and I look a little bit like the man in the photo, apart from you know, the glasses, and the hat, the goatee too, I suppose. Similar ears. Excuse me, may I interrupt for a moment? Oh, hello! Do I really look all that busy? Well, now that you mention it, no. Is your whatever that thing is broken? No, I just don't feel like playing. Why not? An artist needs an audience, attention, applause, and of course, earning a few pennies doesn't hurt either. Hmm. Well, I can listen, but I'm afraid I'm completely broke. That's all right. The potential audience in this part of the stadium is pretty limited. Why exactly did you pick this location? Unfortunately, it was assigned to me. We have the odd athlete and journalist pass by, but it's been a slow pitch. I wanted to set up over at the main entrance, but I wasn't allowed. Oh, I see. Well, I'm going to go have a look around the city. Have fun. Rust free. The surface may be a bit scratched, but on the whole, it looks sparkling clean again. This hat might make me look a bit more like Edison on his press pass, but I think my kleptomaniacal urges have been sated for one day. Hey, it's a real condition.
Hello, it's me. Hi there. Don't worry, you haven't missed much. By the way, I really like your hat. Really? I hardly ever wear it. I just use it to collect money. Hmm. It doesn't really seem to be fulfilling its purpose, does it? And you're saying that's the hat's fault? It looks a bit greasy. Maybe that's putting your customers off. Oh, you might be right. It really doesn't look very clean, does it? If you give me your hat, I'll give you something even better in return. A connoisseur of old greasy hats, are you? <laughs> okay, if you can give me something good to replace it, you can have the hat. I've got this polished metal bowl that absolutely isn't a rubbish bin lid. Wouldn't it be better for collecting money than your old hat? Hmm, let me see that. Yes, this is good. It's sturdy and it looks a damn sight better than my old hat. So, you want to trade? Gladly. Here, take the thing. Thanks. I've clumped the whiskers together 